Do you suck at backpacking? Most probably you do. What can you do about it? Stay tuned to find out. Have you ever found yourself walking in the woods with a backpack? So far, so good, but meanwhile, you're filled with doubts. You're backpacking all right, but you doubt you're doing it right. You're thinking you can't get your gear just right. You're thinking you can't hike the right amount, long distances, say, like early Riser 71 or John Sahorian. You're thinking that you can't enjoy yourself because you're full of fear and dread. If this describes you, then yes, you suck at backpacking. But hey, it's okay. Don't lose hope just yet. Those voices in your head telling you that you can't, that you shouldn't, that you're lacking, that you're not worthy, I'll tell you where they're coming from. They're coming from the supposed experts making backpacking videos on YouTube, trying to prove their way is superior and yours is just plain wrong. They come from reading Outside Magazine and Backpacker Magazine and letting the writers and advertisers make you afraid. They come from walking into REI and just standing there in the camping section and saying, my God, just look at all this gear. All right, let's stop right there. In the gear section of REI, you suck at backpacking first of all because you think you have the wrong gear or maybe you don't even know where to start. Here's the right place to start, in your own backyard or at the state park, testing out your gear while you're car camping. Here's where not to start. Don't start by looking at gear videos from strangers. You know those videos where people unspool all their gear and end up sitting in front of it in a giant pile or maybe they do it in reverse and stuff all that gear back into their pack. The point is they might not know what they're talking about or more importantly, they might have a completely different backpacking style than you do. They might be interested in hiking as many miles as possible each day and being very light, while you're more interested in walking a few miles into the woods and setting up a comfortable campsite that will last all weekend. My advice to you about your gear confusion? Buy the basics to start and don't pay a lot of money. Dip your toe into the water. Practice. See whether you like how the gear is working out for you. And then once you're on your way, the next step, examine your fears. Ah <laughs> yes, fears. If it's not gear confusion, you suck at backpacking because you're afraid. Maybe you're afraid of this, maybe you're afraid of that, maybe you're afraid of just about everything. In the comments to my YouTube videos, I hear all the reasons people are afraid to go backpacking. If I've made 100 videos, I have heard 200 re reasons why people are afraid to go outside. You camp in leaves, they ask? What about ticks? What about snakes? How does that tarp keep you dry in the rain? Why doesn't it just blow away in the wind? I got that comment last week about my tarp blowing away in the wind. Spiders, they say, ants, raccoons, bears. My advice, quit being afraid. I know the gear companies have made you think you're going to freeze to death or that you'll get hypothermia and then freeze to death or that you'll fail to drink your daily 50 gallons of water and so dehydrate or get lost because you didn't buy an expensive navigational watch with an altimeter. But look, chances are you're going to survive your backpacking hobby. I know you want to call it an adventure, and how can it be an adventure if you're not risking your life? But face it, backpacking is really just a weekend getaway. You're not standing in line to ascend Mount Everest, you're, you're just having a little fun in the outdoors. And you still suck at it, unfortunately, which means I have a little bit more to say. You still suck at backpacking because you've been brainwashed, mostly by YouTube videos, into thinking there's only one way to do it. Maybe you're worrying about pack weight. Maybe you think you have the right gear, but your pack's too heavy. Listen, no one but you cares about your pack weight. If your backpack feels too heavy for the distance you want to cover, then work on it, make it lighter. I've been working at it for years, and I'm still not where I want to be. Or alternatively, you can use my own sister Sarah as your model. Sarah, bless her heart, who just doesn't care about pack weight at all. I did an entire video about her ultra heavy backpacking technique. No judgment here. If she wants creature comforts in the woods, then go for it, Sarah. <sighs> all right, deep breath. We've reached the end. We've talked about gear. We've talked about fears. We've talked about peer pressure. Now you know that if you suck at backpacking, you actually most likely don't suck at backpacking at all. You've just let other people let you think you suck at backpacking. And if you're just getting started and really do suck at backpacking because you're just an innocent newbie, here's my advice to you. Start small. Watch some videos by Darwin on the Trail or Dixie at Homemade Wanderlust. Throw in a little Syntax 77. Learn a few new skills and get out there on the trail. You don't suck at backpacking. Not really. Not that much. This video has been a production of Evan's Backpacking Videos on YouTube. 
please subscribe to my channel because I'm trying to get bigger than Tim Watson in Jupiter Hikes and I just can't. This video was also made in conjunction with the Instagram account Backpacker Comics, which I just happen to be in charge of. I'll leave you with some examples of Backpacker Comics so you can think about subscribing there on Instagram.